Okay, it's uh, Michael V here with Hypertherm Plasma Cutting Systems again, and uh, now we're going to be working on a, a differential. Um, typically, what happens is a lot of the times you'll need to take this spring perch and either remove it and reuse it, but you'll typically remove it to move it inwards or outwards, depending on what you're doing on a custom car. So in this case, uh, Mike's going to be uh, um, modifying this uh, this differential to be used in a Wrangler, and uh, we need to remove this perch and the shock mount. So we're going to go ahead and gouge it out, use the, use the gouge mode on the uh, PowerMax 45, and uh, we're going to go ahead and try it right now. Okay, now for any of you that have done this kind of work, it's a lot harder to uh, to do that with a uh, with a grinding wheel and uh, and or other means than it is with gouging with uh, the PowerMax 45 plasma. So you can see how easy that is. Try not to cut into the housing, and uh, in this case, we might save this. Mike may use it for something else in the future. So that's the objective. Just try to clean out the weld, wash out the weld, or Another term they use is scarfing, so we're trying to scarf the weld out. Okay, so I've made a, a few passes right here with the gouging tip and um, to try to remove the weld on both sides. And I've got this thing pretty much broken loose now, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off and uh, show you the result. We're able to uh, do minimal damage to the differential housing, and um, we also uh, were able to do pretty minimal damage to this piece. We can actually just touch that up with a sanding disc, and you could actually use this again if you wanted to and just weld right into it. So that's the purpose of gouging. Um, it certainly makes uh, gouging or scarfing, it sure, certainly makes life a lot easier than uh, trying to get in there with a grinder and, and so on. It's just a, a little quicker and a little easier to deal with.